Hello and welcome to Outside In. My name is Steven. First of all, kind of sorry for the mess over here. If you'll notice, over here is where my computer has always been for every video I've done so far. But unfortunately right now, it's not there and that is because it's in the next room in pieces. I was on YouTube watching some videos and the computer just went black and no lights, no screen, no anything. At first I was thinking, the power couldn't have went out because I have a backup power supply. So I didn't know what was going on. I tried to start the computer up, but it would do nothing. I unplugged it, plugged it back in, still was doing nothing. I discovered that what had happened is that the power supply failed on the computer. So I fortunately was able to find a new power supply. I ordered a new power supply, got it in the mail a few days later, took the computer apart. But in the process, I ended up breaking one of the fans on my graphics card. We're gonna go step-by-step step on how to take those fans out and replace them with new ones. Let's go over to the bench and let's replace these fans. Okay, so this is the graphics card. I don't know how much zooming is going to help but we'll maybe zoom in here a little bit so hopefully you guys can see better but this is an EV GA uh, GeForce GTX 770 and I just love this thing this has been such a great card and it was it really was horrible that I busted it <laughs> the fan so I was able to I thought I was going to just be able to maybe take the fan off of this and maybe glue it back in but no it was pretty busted up so anyway like I said I found a set of fans on Amazon for $15 okay let's get these plastic pieces off and these are beautiful they look like the original except for the fan blades are made a little bit different so I'm hoping that's just like an upgrade maybe but I wanted to create this video to help anyone out there that may have a card that may have this card to know how to get this apart to replace the fans. There's two screws, one here and one on the other side. But when I took the screws out, I, nothing would budge. I was like, I have no idea. And then I saw two screws here. I was like, oh, there's the other two screws. But how do I get to them? Because they're under here and I can't get a screwdriver there. I got to looking and I was like, wait a minute, these four screws right here have, guess what? They have springs on them. And guess what that reminds me of? A motherboard CPU heat sink. But I was like, you know what? I'll bet you this is retaining the heat sink. After I took these screws out with the springs on them, I was right, <laughs> but I'm about to show you that now. Just these four screws. Now there's, there's, I think there's at least two more screws that we all had to take out, but not until I get the heat sink out. You know, I recommend, you know, cleaning the thermal paste off and uh, reapplying fresh thermal paste okay now right here when you go to take this off right there there is the fans is plugged in right there so I just got to turn it around to make sure because I don't want to break anything <laughs> so got to be delicate easy with it I cleaned a lot of dust out of this thing too already so okay got it unplugged and this we're gonna clean off so we're going to get some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and clean the thermal paste off of this. And off of this one. Wow, that came out pretty easy. I'm just going over this these services get all the dust and this is the first time I was actually inside here so 
Might as well get it cleaned out while we're in here, right? You know, get it clean as possible before we put it back together. So now then let's turn this back over. It looks to me like there are these two screws here. And then one on this side. I just got to keep, <laughs> I got to keep watching to see, make sure I'm staying in shot so you guys can see. So that one screw there and then another screw there. Okay, now it looks to me like there's, these are the other two screws that we'll have to take out in order to remove the shroud so we can get the fans out. These are different size screws. So just make sure you can put these down in a way that you'll know where they go when you put it back together. Now is this gonna come off? <gasps> Look at that, it did. Okay, so there it is in all its glory. Okay, now on this one, it's easy to see because there's no fan on it anymore because I busted it off. But underneath of these fans, and even the ones that I saw online that are made by different manufacturers, they all have three screws holding down the fans. And all you really have to do is move, put your screwdriver between the fans and then just keep moving it until you find the screw and then unscrew it. Now there's another screw. So let's take that one out. And then let's find this next screw, which is right there, and take that one out. And just be careful, these are very tiny screws, so you don't want them flying across the room because then you probably would not find it. <laughs> so that's why I'm being so careful not to drop these tiny little, tiny, tiny little screws. The wire for the fans run on along the side here and then they down, go down and plug into the, to the board, to the motherboard of this down below. But it looks like they're the wires are in little like channels which makes it actually kind of easier because it's not an extra step you have to do to try to unclip it it's just on this board anyway they're just being retained by little channel tabs see now on this it's one continuous wire both of the fans don't unplug separately that's all one but Something interesting I saw in the replacement fan is that these are connected together. You could actually replace just one fan instead of having to replace both if these ever went bad. But maybe that's what they're doing in the new systems or this is just a different menu, but it looks identical except the fan blades are made a little bit different. And it comes with this extension, which we probably will need I'm guessing I will need that. Yes, I really do think I'll need that. But don't tighten too much. Uh, this is going into aluminum, so. And it just holding a tiny little fan, so it doesn't have to be torqued way down. And then this is looking like an arrow. And then that looks like an arrow. So this is the way you want to orient it. That's because the other way, that's why I couldn't get the other one on, because. The holes didn't line up. Snug them down. Okay. So I'm going to assume that the best way for me to do this. <laughs> 
would be to run this wire underneath of this one to get it as low as possible and then plug it into this side yeah they definitely messed up making this wire this one here should have been longer goodness gracious why did they make that so short that makes me nervous with this having to be plugged in like this being that close to the fan when I get the case when I get the shroud back on if this picks up too high it's gonna touch get this back together if it'll go back together I guess the true test will come when I get it back in the computer. So yeah, if you get if you end up getting a fan set like this, then the short end is the one it should be on this side. But they don't make the wire long enough. So the fan that was over here, I had to put over here. And then, I, it does fit. I mean, I did get it to work, like you saw. It's not rubbing anything. And then when this goes back down, it does hold it down. So, it should keep it from going up into the fan. I had to take this fan and put it over here. This fan was over here and had to put that over there. Which made this be too long. But I think as long as you fold that over like that and stick it up here in this area, I think it should be okay. So yeah, just that's the only way I can do it. The logo looks identical to EVGA. Hopefully that will work. They're not rubbing. Okay. Nothing rubbing. Okay, so now what we need to do is put some thermal paste on this and slap it back together. Now please don't get too mad at me if some of you think I'm not doing this right. But I've done a lot of this over the years, so everybody has their way of doing it. And it doesn't take much. I like to spread it out. Now, some people say you don't even have to spread it out, but I like to spread it out just to be sure that it's going to get everywhere it needs to be once it's put back down. And then we got to make sure we get it down in the right orientation where it was before. There we go. Went on this way. Now these screws here you have to push down before it'll start because of the spring. But just make sure that when you're holding this you're not accidentally because you'll end up in the same situation with a broken fan. These things are quite delicate and I would say it doesn't take much because I broke mine. That's why I'm having to go through this. But it gave me an opportunity to show someone else how to do this and when we do learn something it is nice to be able to share that knowledge with others even though it's a little bit of finagling but I finally got it started now I'll just I guess use the screwdriver to seat it down and then make sure the wire that on this particular fan anyway I'm gonna put a link to it in my description but just make sure if you have this graphics card even though it says it's for it yeah well you saw for yourself this this dot wire definitely is not made right and you just have to be careful 
and just keep testing the fans that they're not rubbing this one here definitely do not push it back up this way because it'll get stuck and no rubbing okay so it worked yeah that fan turned out to be not what I was hoping it looked like the replacement ones and it was for this specific board the EVGA GeForce GTX 770 but this must be an updated fan they decided to do to be able to unplug them even though I was still able to finagle it and get it in there still a lot less expensive than buying a new one <laughs> for sure plus it gives you an opportunity to learn something new all right so there you go I really hope <laughs> this has helped somebody have a great night and I will see you in the next one <laughs>